Hey guys, thanks for joining the Arkansas Soybean Promotion Board's Field to Film podcast today. Today we are here with Savannah Wells Crafton and we're going to hear a little bit more about her and what she's all about today. And so what would you say is the overall core significance of your research? As the population increases, we'll also need to um, increase our poultry production mm -hmm. to feed that population. Well, with increased poultry production, we'll also see um, an increased need for soybean production. Our research focuses on not only attaining values for precision poultry nutrition, but also investigating um, protein ingredients that could be a potential source um, of nutrition for mm -hmm. poultry in the future. I am originally from Northeast Arkansas. I grew up on a row crop farm there. My family um, grows around 2,000 acres of corn and soybeans. Uh, when I started to university, I started at Arkansas State University, which is located in Jonesboro. Arkansas State University has a program with the U of A called the 3 plus 1 dual credit uh, poultry program. And so when I declared it as an animal science major, they asked me if I was interested um, in pursuing this program. And um, in this program, you go three years at Arkansas State University as an animal science major before transferring your fourth and final mm -hmm. year to the U of A as a poultry science major. And you're able to uh, graduate that last year with two bachelor's degrees, one in animal science from Arkansas State University and one in poultry science from the University of Arkansas. So I thought that was a great idea. So you mentioned that, you know, your family grew like soybeans and like they had their farm. So how did their like farm really impact your career decision to pursue agriculture on your own? Yeah, so I um, was always interested in animals, mm -hmm. um, but I knew I didn't want to be a vet. When I took my first nutrition class, I was like, oh my gosh, this is something that I yeah. know. It was like home, yeah. finding home. It was like and a natural step mm -hmm. for you. Yeah. And so can you tell us a little bit more about your research focus? I'm currently in the first semester of my mm -hmm. PhD, um, but during my master's I did research on novel protein ingredient uh, Arthrospira plantensis, mm -hmm. which is a species of algae, um, as well as research on genetically improved soybeans, okay. which is you know, why I'm here today. Right. I know you said you're just starting out your PhD program, but have you had any findings so far? Um, so as we know, soybeans are mainly produced for their oil content. Uh, for human mm -hmm. consumption and a byproduct of the oil extraction process is defatted soybean meal which is a protein ingredient that we feed to poultry. We process them into full fat soybean mm -hmm. meal. Um, we were able to include those soybeans into the diets. The first soybean was a line of soybeans that had been bred to have increased amino acid content. What we saw was there was no difference in um, live performance measurements. Live performance measurements include feed intake, uh, body weight gain mm -hmm. of the birds, as well as feed conversion ratio. So how efficiently the birds can, yeah. you know, turn feed into mm -hmm. body weight. Um, and then we also looked at processing characteristics. So uh, we have a processing plant here at the U of A where we can run birds through um, and then we'll debone them, weigh each okay. part, and we can calculate yields cool. to determine if there's you know, if the feeding or the type of diet can impact yeah. your parts yield. And so we saw no differences among the soybean types, mm -hmm. except um, in feed conversion ratio, there was a 15 point difference in one of the soybean lines, the mm -hmm. uh, improved oil. They were bred to have improved oil quality. Uh -huh. However, they also had increased amino acid content and reduced oligosaccharide, which makes the soybean more easily mm -hmm. digestible. Uh, we did see a numerical, a large numerical difference in feed conversion ratio. So um, the birds fed these improved soybeans yeah. had, you know, more efficiency in converting feed into meat. Mm -hmm. So our lab mainly focuses our research mm -hmm. on broiler growth trials. So we are trying to mimic as closely as we can um, in a research setting how these birds would grow out in industry in a mm -hmm. broiler house. Uh, so we place our birds in floor pins. During the duration of the experimental period, we record feed intake, uh, body weight gain, and that way we can calculate a feed conversion ratio. 
at the end of the flock, whenever we're ready to send them to processing, we tag the birds, mm -hmm. and then we can see, you know, how the diets that we are feeding these birds can impact not only their live performance, but also their processing meals. Okay, so once you get the results of this, how do you guys educate others about your results? Yeah, so um, we have many opportunities to, you know, display our research. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have a few events here on campus, such as Poultry Science Research Day, um, but we also go to conferences such as Poultry Science mm -hmm. Association um, Annual Conference. Yeah. This year it's in Pennsylvania. Um, last year it was in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, as well as we have a local one, Arkansas Nutrition Conference, mm -hmm. that will go, we'll either present orally or present a poster. We also present at IPSF, mm -hmm. which is the International Poultry Scientific Forum in Atlanta, Georgia every year. I would just like to say a mm -hmm. big thank you to the Arkansas Soybean Promotion Board for funding mm -hmm. for this research as well as providing me with a fellowship. All right, so today we've had Savannah Wells Crafton up here in Fayetteville at the Poultry Pilot Processing Plant. Savannah, I've really enjoyed our conversation today, and until next time, <laughs> thank you. Thanks for listening to the Arkansas Soybean Promotion Board's Soybean Podcast. We hope you'll follow us on Twitter at Arkansas Soybeans and even more resources at themiraclebean.com.